the erasure of credit purify the world? One reads this in Marx on the Jewish question, but also in Robert of Courson in the early 13th century. What I came to talk about was a major question which is examined in enormous detail by Francesca Trivellato's new book, The Perils and Power of Credit, in which she shows how medieval attitudes towards Jewish commerce, Jewish lending as endangering the Christian society move slowly into a lay format, a secularized format, so that the Jew remains equally pernicious and dangerous to modern society. For them, the appreciation of value without goods being traded was to sell time, which they said belongs to God alone. I work with archives, particularly the archives of, of Rome. I've worked in the Vatican, in the Archivio di Stato, and the archive of the Roman Jewish community. And I pride myself on reading documents very, very carefully. I can, once I've read them carefully, I can come up with wider theories, but one must, as a historian, read documents with extreme care. You're all so quiet, you sound like students. Yeah, I agree, I don't see money, I see politics. Yeah, you see, you see, yeah, that one, that one isn't money, the Trump one isn't money, but I'm talking about Jews leading people astray here, mm -hmm. for a second. A, a workshop like this gives us an opportunity. I look at the people who are here. We have people who are scholars of Jewish law, of Roman law, of economics, of sociology, <clears throat> and you come together and you share ideas and you begin to get a much wider picture of what credit, what loans, what, uh, what living of two different peoples in, in one society can be, and the pitfalls where people do not do too well living together. Even in courts of law, as in the following two examples from the jurist Giovanni Pietro Sordi. It, it's clearly, it's a, it's, it's a place where French culture, quite clearly, it will express itself as French culture, which is very important, uh, and at the same time for uh, people from French culture to absorb all the many cultural currents uh, in, in Israel. I'm from the University of Haifa, where we have a very major tradition of uh, people studying France, Arye Grabois, Miriam Yardeni, Janine Horvitz, uh, and uh, these people have promoted uh, and brought many people here, and I'm sure that the Centre of uh, Recherche uh, Francais Jerusalem has certainly had a great role in all of these things, so it's very important, anything, to promote international culture. Mm -hmm.